welcome to The Ticker, where we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. And lately, what's been happening is everybody's talking about social media, technology, anything that has to do with online and computers, apps, iPads, iPhones, all that kind of stuff. So maybe we'll take it back down to basics, because a lot of people have gotten really uncomfortable with just plain old everyday networking, actually getting out there and shaking hands with people. And it still seems to prove that that's one of the most effective ways to get business and to make your business better. So with that being said, we wanted to give you guys some tips. Some of y'all are a little more introvert than others and don't have that go get them personality when it comes to getting out there and talking to people in person. Mm -hmm. So we'll start it out with, you know, getting to know who's going to be there before you get there. And a good way of doing this is if it's a public list, like on Facebook, you can go in and kind of take a look at these people, which helps your memory a little bit on jogging it as far as name with a face. But it also can give you something that might be a particular common interest between you and some of the guests there. That'll help you get a conversation started. And speaking of the conversations, guys, it's important, especially if you're an introvert, to get those conversations started early. If the event, uh, the mixer is at a bar or something like that, when you're waiting for your drink, maybe you talk to the person next to you. Find out if they've been there before, if there's something that they can recommend. Or maybe you're waiting in line outside. Now, if they haven't been there before, maybe find out what they're doing there. It's important to get started early, get your feet wet before you get in there and really start trying to mix it up. Well, also, when you want to get the conversation started early, you got to find somebody to start it with. And one of the easiest ways to do this, if you're a little more shy than most, is to find somebody who looks like they might be as timid as you are. You're probably more apt to start a conversation with somebody who doesn't look as um, like a social butterfly. <laughs> Absolutely. Guys, it's also really, really important to remember that when your nerves are going, it's important to remember to slow down your tongue because it sounds really ridiculous and you sound kind of stupid and it doesn't really work out for you. Take a breath. Slow down. When you finally get into those conversations, guys, it is important to remember to just take it easy. I know a lot of people, especially introverts, that whenever they get into that situation, their nerves get going and they just start going out. Just remember to breathe and slow down. Well, and remembering to breathe is a really positive tip, and that goes for your trip home, too. Don't get in the car and completely overanalyze the entire event to the point that you're worried about what was said when you went to the restroom and if people liked what you were wearing or if you did something wrong. Just relax, have a good time, and on the way home, just think about how you can have an even better time at your next event. My favorite tip is to be early. I'm a, I'm, I love to be early. It's one of the big, biggest tips I give people that are new into the business. Um, whenever you're early to an event, it gives you a great opportunity to kind of help set up maybe for those that are throwing the event. It's a great opportunity before all the chaos starts to really get to know different individuals within the industry. Um, and it really starts a really good reputation for you. You're someone that's dependable uh, and someone that's there to help. Well, after being early, which is definitely one of Chase's favorites, is you want to make sure that you practice. Practice makes perfect. So not practice at home, but practice by actually scheduling a few events a month on your calendar and getting out there, getting to know people, and you will become more relaxed on starting a conversation with people. And you'll realize that you'll see some of the same people you saw at other events, and that's always a key way to get that conversation started early when you can jump in and be like, hey, good to see you again. So practice makes perfect. The more you go, the more comfortable you'll become with things. We've all heard the mantra, you know, fake it till you make it. But guys, look, thanks to social media, thanks to Twitter, LinkedIn, all that kind of stuff, people's BS meters are off the charts. They can look you up online. They can find out that you're not into long walks on the beach, uh, stormy weather, and golf. <laughs> Guys, be yourself when you're at these events. You're going to set appointments. You're going to go to these, you know, let's go grab coffee next week. Let's do something like that. And then the second they meet with you, they're going to find out you're a different person than who they met. They're going to distrust you more than when they first initially met you. Guys, it's important to Bad just idea. be yourself when you're at these events. So the only thing you really can get away with faking is a smile. And sometimes when you're in a group and somebody's talking, it's hard to feel comfortable just standing there kind of smiling. Or maybe when you're shaking a bunch of hands, you have a hard time with keeping a smile on your face. But it really is okay to kind of fake that because it makes people feel more comfortable to talk to you. And they're more likely to come back and engage a conversation with you if when they shook your hand, you looked them in the eyes and you smiled. 
So even if it feels uncomfortable, push yourself to keep a smile on your face. The final rule, guys, and this one is huge because no one wants to see you break dancing to no music or, <laughs> you know, doing an impromptu, you know, karaoke session with a lampshade on your head. Do not get drunk at social mixers and social events, guys. Oh, we've all seen it. That one guy that embarrasses himself, kind of ruins his reputation for a couple of weeks. With the prolification of people taking pictures and putting them on Facebook and putting them on Twitter and doing all these kinds of things, guys, it's important to remember, slow down, sip slowly, you know, uh, have a, you know, water between every alcoholic beverage, different things Eat. like that. Eat, Eat, absolutely. Just remember, do not get drunk at these social events. All right. Well, speaking of social events, Chase and I have one to make it out to right now. So we're going to get going, but we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. And as always, you can follow us on Twitter or check us out on Facebook. Guys, if you have any more tips specifically for the introverts out there, please let us know down in the comment section down below. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.